so tell me, just map out the past year. Where have you been traveling? You you travel one one to two months with your wife. Where have you been going? So you're in Barcelona now. Why Bar- Why Barcelona? Barcelona now. Yeah, so I guess if we rewind a, a couple of years ago, you know, I used to have like a corporate job, nine to five, restricted us a lot. I uh, wasn't real happy with it. You know, I always had a strong mm-hmm. entrepreneurial spirit. Right. So about the time um, that I was able to kind of replace my income with selling on Amazon, we also, right. my wife and I took off and started traveling. Yeah. Um, so since then, we've been to, I don't know, a whole bunch of countries. Uh, usually about once a month or every other month or something, we'll uh, move to a different spot. Mm-hmm. So most of 2015 was spent in yeah. Southeast Asia and a little bit of mm-hmm. South America. Mm-hmm. And then uh, this summer, we're going to be in Europe. So we're in Barcelona right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually uh, going to Vietnam for a little while. And yeah, I don't know where I'm going at the end of 2016 yet. So, so. Barcelona, where were you before Barcelona? I was in uh, Rio in Brazil. Rio in Brazil. And then yeah. previous to that? Um, previous to that, uh, we went home to visit our families for the holidays a little bit. And then uh, before that, I was in Colombia and Southeast Asia. Mm. So what's the hardest part about running your business? I mean, it sounds amazing, right? I'm sure there's difficulties yeah. too from traveling. There's probably bad internet in places. What What are the biggest challenges um, from running your business virtually and, and traveling every month? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, so one of the good things is since I kind of started living this type of lifestyle at the same time that I was yeah. starting my businesses, um, my businesses have been developed, you know, with like systems in place to have a distributed team and everyone working remote and so forth. Yeah. So as far as like the communication and organization, that kind of stuff goes, it's pretty easy because we started that from the very beginning. You know, mm-hmm. we have we communicate through Slack. We have really good like project management in place and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. So that's not a problem. Um I quickly learned about the internet thing is to, um, we always travel or one of the main things we look for in like the areas we're going to sell in is whether they have a good co-working space or not. So we always mm. work from co-working gotcha. spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Cause so you know, it's going to have good internet and exactly. Yeah. So if it's a co-working space they usually advertise internet speeds, but also same thing. It's, you know, um, it's an area people go to work. So you meet really cool people there. There's good internet. Uh, it's a good place to be creative and productive and so forth. Yeah. How many staff do you have? Um, so the jungle scout team is actually, uh, 16 people now. We wow, had a, a holy cow. First start yesterday. That's amazing. Yeah. So we're, we're growing pretty quickly. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're, the team's distributed all throughout the world. Um, mostly actually in Vancouver though. So we have like, Interesting. I think nine people in Vancouver now, mm-hmm. but other than that, we're in San Francisco, uh, Toronto, New Brunswick in Canada, um, one guy in Sydney in Australia. Um, so yeah, we're kind of distributed around the world. Yeah. I'll do a formal intro, but um, so do those people also work on your Amazon business? Like, yes. cause I know you sell on Amazon also. Right. So my Amazon business is a little different. So you know, when I originally got started, it was just with the Amazon stuff. Yeah. Um, I had two full-time people working for me in uh, Maryland, which is mm. where I was originally from. What did they uh, do? One person was kind of just like a warehouse type guy, you mm-hmm. know, like unpacking, repacking, labeling and stuff. And the other one was like the project manager type. Yeah. Um, since then, I've been able to kind of shift that focus from that business from like reselling uh, wholesale items to all private label. Mm-hmm. And then so I've uh, been able to... Um, now we just have one part-time guy working on my Amazon FBA stuff. We, we've been able to like outsource a lot of the work to, uh, my freight forwarder. I use like, uh, the name of the company is Flexport. So now they like receive my shipments, they repack them there, ship them into Amazon. So that was a lot of the work. Mm-hmm. We've been able to systematize it really well yeah. so that, um, it's just, it's much more manageable. We've cut some of like our low performing products that didn't have good margins because it just wasn't worth it anymore. So really picking and choosing, um, you know, and that's, in that business, what makes the most money, what's worth working on and so forth. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of inspiredinsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. 
This is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Today we have Greg Mercer all the way from Barcelona. He's the founder of the software Jungle Scout, which allows you to quickly and easily perform product research on Amazon. And he's the founder of Review Kick, which helps people quickly and easily get reviews for their Amazon products. In addition, that weren't enough, Greg, uh, he generates revenues in excess of 400000 per month by selling products on Amazon. Greg, thanks for joining me. Jeremy, thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Since it's the e-commerce mastery series, I always ask, um, what's been the lowest point and then what's been the proudest moment for you business-wise? So what's what's been the lowest point? Uh, man, it's like the past three years have been like going really well, just like growing. Um, yeah. So it's all been, you know, pretty like uphill. The lowest points, if I had to say like mentally, yeah, it would have been like when, and looking back, it was so silly, but at the time, you know, I just wasn't as mature of a thinker, would just be like on some of the times when I see like competition come out. And like at the time, yeah. I would just feel like crushed, like so worried about it. And looking back, yeah. it was like the silliest thing ever, right? Like we used to like, Sure, they may have taken a little bit of business, but if you just continue to grow, who really cares, right? Yeah. Um, so those would probably be like the lowest points, like mentally. But like yeah, I but said, at the time, unjustified. it does. It is. Um, it does feel like a big blow. Yeah, you know, like, like, like you're not sure. It's like, man, what if they just like take start taking all my sales and everything just like seems doom and gloom? But it, yeah. Do you ever uh, worry that like okay, let's say Google comes out with the same extension, or they're watching what you're doing and they come out for free? Is there any of that like in your mind at all? Now I don't no. worry about it just because no. like I'm, I'm matured past that point. Yeah. And I think as long as you just continue to provide lots of value to your audience, um, th there's forever a, a market for that. And, mm -hmm. you know, like I've learned the skills now how to successfully run businesses and manage people and um, develop successful e-commerce stores and so forth. That That's something that I can take with me forever, even if, even if Jungle Scout were to go out of business, whatever, you know, it's like I've learned these skills that are valuable for the rest of my life. Yeah. So what's been one of the proudest moments for you? Um, one of the proudest moments. Um, let's see. Like each time we release like a, a really big feature or something, um, that's usually I'd say like the proudest the proudest or like the highest moments because you know you work so hard on something and then it's finally released yeah. um so for so up to this point everything's always just been like super positive for yeah. the feedback from these so that just like feels so good um yeah. when all your customers are like emailing you and tweeting you and stuff like oh this is the best thing ever it makes my life so good you know like uh, all the developers are really happy because they've worked been working so hard on it that's those are probably the proudest times what's been your favorite success story of someone using Jungle Scout. Uh, we get quite a few success stories, and that's yeah. like one of the things that like keeps pushing me on. Yeah. Um, sometimes, actually, like just a couple weeks ago, um, I'm going to leave out uh, some of the details. Of yeah, kind of text versus privacy. For sure, for sure. Yeah. But um, essentially, like here's their just, name, address, product, <laughs> not names. <Amazon. laughs> No, but uh, man, it was like the it's one of like the nicest emails I've ever received. Essentially, yeah. they were just going through some like really tough times in life. I think uh, through separation, uh, dealing with like some really like uh, mental and like overweight type issues, mm -hmm. and they they had found our case study and like used our product and helped them um, launch a successful product. I think they were even I think maybe like on some government support before they've like gotten past that mm -hmm. uh, since then, and then that was like the very so they probably would have been like at rock bottom then. That was like the very like uh, up, like beginning to like an uphill point. Since then, they're like, man, I've started like uh, eating better and exercising and feeling good. And like they were feeling good about themselves. And it's like, um, I never would have like guessed it. Like, you know, do like one or a few like blog posts and a case study and like this tool that like we changed the trajectory of like an yeah. entire person's life. It's incredible, you know? Yeah. So like looking back on things like that, it's like, wow, you know, it, is it feels incredible. really good to make these, the difference in people's lives yeah. like this. It gave them a little bit more motivation and positive yeah. outlook and that allowed them to change other aspects of their life. Right. All they needed was like that one little point. So wow. it's really cool. That's awesome. So yeah. Greg, that's, thank you for sharing that. Um, this has been amazing and I really appreciate your time on this. 
Um, and because you could be touring Barcelona right now. <laughs> um, where should we point people towards? Where should they check out online? Yeah, so if you want to find out more about Jungle Scout, um, uh, feel free to visit junglescout.com. I'm pretty active in the blog, usually yeah. once or twice a week. We try to um, post really good content on there, so that's a good place to find me. If you want to get in contact with me, uh, the best way is tweet me at, uh, okay. at Mercer underscore Greg. Um, that's the, uh, the quickest way to get a hold of me if you want to cool. tell me about something or meet up or whatever else. Yeah. Greg, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks again for having me on. I've enjoyed it. Take care.